Hi, Winnef. I'm going to read you a story today. It's called Clocks and More Clocks by Pat Hutchins. One day, Mr. Higgins found a clock in the attic. It looked very splendid standing there. How do I know if it's correct, he thought. So he went out and bought another, which he placed in the bedroom. Three o'clock, said Mr. Higgins. I'll see if the other clock is right. He ran up to the attic, but the clock said one minute past three. How do I know which one is right, he thought. So he went out and bought another. Which he placed in the kitchen. Ten minutes to four. I'll check the others. He ran up to the attic. The attic clock said eight minutes to four. He ran down to the bedroom. The bedroom clock said seven minutes to four. I still don't know which one is right, he thought. So he went out and bought another. which he placed in the hall. 20 minutes past four, he said, and ran up to the attic. The attic clock said 23 minutes past four. He ran down to the kitchen. The kitchen clock said 25 minutes past four. He ran up to the bedroom. The bedroom clock said 26 minutes past four. This is no good at all, he thought. What could be happening? And he went to the clockmaker. My hall clock says 20 minutes past four. My attic clock says 23 minutes past four. My kitchen clock says 25 minutes past four. My bedroom clock says 26 minutes past four, and I don't know which one is right, said Mr. Higgins. So the clockmaker went to the house to look at the clocks. The hall clock said five o'clock. There is nothing wrong with this clock, said the clockmaker. Look, his clock is the same. The kitchen clock said one minute past five. There, shouted Mr. Higgins. Your watch said five o'clock, but it is one minute past now, said the clockmaker. Look. The bedroom clock said two minutes past five. Absolutely correct, said the clockmaker. Look. The attic clock said three minutes past five. There's nothing wrong with this clock either, said the clockmaker. Look. They're the same. <clears throat> what a wonderful watch, said Mr. Higgins. And he went out and bought one. And since he bought his watch, All the clocks have been right. So what do you think happened? Why was his clock always different? See you later.